Hello Taurus and welcome to your hump day reading. So we're going to start with some tarot cards and then we're going to go uh, with a love card. So if it resonates or if you just enjoy the reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell notification. If it doesn't resonate, please check your rising sign. And if it seems more like a love reading Taurus, then check your Venus sign. Either way, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Let's see here, it's in Taurus. What does Taurus need to know for their hump day? <clears throat> Sorry, reading. Taurus hump day reading. Four, three, hump day reading for Taurus. Okay then. Anything else for Taurus? So I gotta tell you, a lot of the readings have started about work and ended up about love. It's very interesting. So I keep asking everybody, what's going on with Venus? Oh boy. Taurus, you're starting out with the tower. <clears throat> now, the now granted the tower is never a happy looking card, but have you, if you look back in your life at any of your quote unquote tower moments, did you ever notice that some of the best things happen when life makes you make a change. Oh, it could be the worst thing too, but don't get me wrong. Believe me, I know that all too well. But at the same time, it could cause something good, you know? Don't laugh. The only thing I'm noticing is her, her crown isn't coming off. <laughs> She's falling upside down and still has her crown on. How is that? Meanwhile, I don't even think he has a crown. Anyway, I digress. Ooh, we have the strength card. So, so far you have two major arcanas, strength card. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, or you could just be very, be being very strong after a tower moment. Well, the interesting thing is then you have the four of wands. This is the, un the uniting of families, possibly a marriage. Could be a divine relationship with the, the, the 11, 11 of the wands. Wow. So you go from like the worst, well, technically not really the worst, but one of the, you know, the, the cards that people get scared by to like one of the ones that people wish to get. So anything else for, I got Taurus, let's, these cards here. Anything else that Taurus needs to know? Oh boy, that's too many cards. Okay. Okay, so Taurus, three, two, one. Okay. So, oh, we've got quite the stack here. I didn't realize that. So, you've had a tower moment. That could be in the past. Being strong, possibly dealing with a Leo, and possibly married to said Leo. We have a page of wands. This is a new beginning, passionate new beginning, I would say. And the chariot. Now, most of the time, the chariot does not have reins. It has a, two sphinxes, black and white, and no reins. This, because the movement is more mental than physical. But this one, it's both, because he has reins and a whip. So to me, this is, like I said, with the passion, you're, you're definitely making strides. You're definitely moving. But the funny part is, is I don't know how you got this. You got the Eight of Swords. I apologize for seeming distracted. What is it with these people who put on all these nasty sites that I have to get rid of while I'm videotaping? And it's very distracting. And I apologize for saying something, Taurus, but then I have to go on because these stupid things are so annoying. They try to piggyback off of your, your uh, stuff. So let's see here, Taurus. Tower moment. This, the way it looks because of the such a yellow, bright, vibrant cards, I, I wanna say this, tor it, it, to me, Taurus, it says you went through a tower moment and you realized how strong you were. And 
maybe it helped a relationship create a passionate new beginning. And now this chariot card is so different than other chariot cards. But let's see here. Where is my lovely chariot card? Do, do, do. Sorry for the distraction and for the nasty people. Okay, where is the chariot? <laughs> the chariot doesn't exist in here. Really? How could I not have the chariot card? I'm so sorry, Taurus. <clears throat> Thank you so much for being patient. I apologize. Oh, link to Cancer. So maybe, Taurus, you're dealing with the Cancerian. And the moon. We just had the new moon in, in Scorpio. Twin Sphinxes. Oh, well, this is not the same one. See? Let's talk about balancing negative and positive forces to achieve success. Hmm. Maintain focus. Attend to details. You may be going on a long journey. But then you have the Eight of Swords. <laughs> okay, so in light of what's going on in the world right now, I almost want to say that that self-imposed prison is not entirely self-imposed. And this chariot is the wanting to get started on this passionate uh, beginning and then you have the, the knight of pentacles who is slow so I want to say you're celebrating this relationship this union or wanting to with a passionate possible trip but you can't really do it and so now it's taking forever and that's because and it's not that it's not going to happen it's definitely going to happen it's just taking a long time and People are annoying me with these stupid things they're posting on my. I have to learn, Taurus, how to edit just so I can uh, stop and get rid of them and then come back. Isn't that terrible, Taurus, that I feel the need to do that? Do you really want to know about dating some girls or something on my while I'm doing this? Ugh. Sorry, Taurus. It's been going on. I'm almost done with all the signs, so I've had to deal with this throughout the whole thing. Thank you for your patience. Anything else for Taurus? Okay. So, Taurus, like I said, this is a relationship that you wanted to get together. Maybe you are separated by distance due to circumstance right now. We have the King of Cups. Grounded, stable in their emotions. <clears throat> Knight of Rods. He's the one, he just goes charging in. He doesn't think about it. I get the feeling that if you follow the rules, we'll say, for lack of a better thing, you feel like the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. And you feel pent up. You can't get there. You're annoyed. You're stuck. Taking forever. You're emotionally trying to be grounded because you want to be the Knight of Wands, Rods and rush in. Three of Pentacles is about working on a team. So maybe you are trying to find somebody to help you, but there's things that you don't know. So you're going to have to use your intuition. This is about the moon. There's stuff you don't know. There's intuition. And there's a certain amount of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's not the sun. And to me, it looks like there's sadness. I always think of this one. This is like laying in bed and... You may not literally be crying, but it looks like tears, you know? And to me, it's like this little lobster has to make this trip. I almost feel like you are frustrated because you can't make this trip to see somebody who you love, possibly a husband or a wife that you've been separated due to what's going on in the world. I know this message is probably like for one person, but for whoever it's for, I'm so sorry. I do understand, especially um, I know lots of people with military families are going through this and uh, 
just people in general are going through this. So I wish you the best. I hope it uh, comes to a happy, peaceful union as soon as possible. So card four, Taurus for love. Five, four, three, two, and one. Taurus, <laughs> romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if this was a passion to do beginning with someone like a Leo who you would like to get together with, those feelings are definitely worth exploring. And it may take a while because the world is not opening up as soon as we want. But you got to work with the right people, you know, get yourself balanced. And it's going to take time. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to get there. So thank you very much for your patience, Taurus. I apologize for my complaining about the other people. <laughs> but thank you. Good luck. And don't forget, take time for you. Bye-bye.